As an entrepreneur, Elon Musk has been part of multiple business success stories. From PayPal to Tesla, SpaceX and Hyperloop, this real-life Iron Man appears to want a piece of every action. In 2019, Tesla broke the internet when it unveiled its first electric pickup truck called the Cybertruck. Since 2009, the pickup truck market has recorded remarkable steady growth. On the flip side, the sales of regular cars have been faltering since mid-2014. This segment has been a big moneymaker for auto giants like Ford, General Motors, Chrysler and Toyota. In 2018, for example, Ford led the pickup truck market with approximately $25 billion in revenues. GM, Chevrolet and Chrysler's Ram raked in $19 billion and $16 billion respectively in revenues within the same period. In 2017, around 2.8 million new pickups were sold in the US, a 4.85% increase in sales from the previous year. Trucks currently account for 16.4% of all vehicle sales in the US. And this comes as a big surprise despite the increased clamor for climate-friendly products and the fact that trucks are relatively fuel inefficient. Well, you can say utility and instant gratification comes first to most consumers. If you've been a close fan of Musk, you'd agree that the entrepreneur does things in the most unconventional ways. His passion is tilted towards getting things done in the most efficient ways. It therefore comes as no surprise that Tesla is interested in this sector. Beyond the big money automakers are raking in, Tesla is attempting to introduce a cheaper and more efficient option. Whilst there is a question as to whether traditional truck owners, who are typically very brand loyal, will shift loyalty to the Cybertruck, Forbes has predicted that the vehicle could add over $4.5 billion to the company's revenues by 2025. Brand loyalty aside, I think the truck will make Elon Musk more billions. I have to agree with most people that focused on the appearance of the vehicle and called it ugly. When compared with the conventional trucks, the Cybertruck looks hideous. However, what the vehicle seems to lack in appearance it makes up for in price and functionality. The tech behind the truck is simply insane and could become a total deal breaker. The Cybertruck is more than just a pickup. It is part armored personnel carrier, part minivan, part sports car, and part off-road vehicle. This hyper-efficient, fast, and cheap-to-manufacture vehicle's utility is currently unrivaled in the truck market. Tesla's Cybertruck can tow up to 14,000 pounds, has 120 and 240 volt outlets that can supply power tools, features an adaptive air suspension, and a motorized rollout cover called the Volt that secures the bed. The vehicle's tri motor version can reach 60 miles per hour in less than 2.9 seconds. Being a security freak, I must state that the vehicle's exterior shell has been built for maximum passenger protection. Its nearly impenetrable exoskeleton is made from ultra-hard 30 times cold-rolled stainless steel and is literally bulletproof to a 9mm handgun. Well, enough about the Cybertruck's features, here's why I think this truck will give major players in the space a run for their money. Cost, Value and Price a 2016 survey by Kharki involving 1,015 people revealed that the single most important factor when it comes to buying a car is value for money. About 85% of the people involved in that study noted that getting a bang for their buck was very important. Another 40% of the respondents settled for environmental responsibility, with only 10% prioritizing racing heritage. While some analysts argued that the Cybertruck is actually more expensive than the cheapest Ford F-150, the truth is that when placed side by side, the price and functionality that the Ford F-150 brings is no match for what Cybertruck is offering at just $39,000. Like some car experts say, in terms of cost per horsepower, torque and cargo space, the cheapest Cybertruck beats the F-150. And this isn't even taking into account the total cost of ownership and gas savings. Cybertruck focuses on saving time, money, and manufacturing space. Keep in mind that the cheaper a vehicle is to be produced, the cheaper it can be sold. The process of manufacturing a typical car is extremely complex. What Cybertruck does is to take away most of these complexities. The rather triangular design and sharp edges were done for a reason, and the vehicle has been engineered to be very easy to manufacture. The steel exoskeleton is folded from a single flat sharp of steel. This sturdiness removes the need for a frame. There are also no stamping machines working on exterior body panels because the vehicle has none. There is also no paint shop since the trunk's exterior is made from stainless steel. I wouldn't want to go into all the boring details of how a car is manufactured, but 
have it at the back of your mind that it costs way lesser to build the Cybertruck than to build the Ford F-150. Now talking about market penetration, in the US alone, more than 3 million pickup trucks are sold every year. If Tesla manages to capture just 15% of this market, this will be equivalent to about 450,000 trucks every year. At a base price of $40,000 each, this will be $18 billion in revenue. In 2019, Tesla Model 3 was the seventh best-selling car in the US. People already love the brand and current indicators point to the fact that capturing 15% of the US truck market is possible. Some sources claim that more than 600,000 people have already made a reservation for the Cybertruck. In conclusion, if the Cybertruck does all it says it can do and meets the expectation of consumers, we can be certain that Elon Musk and Tesla in general will rake in some solid profits.